Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how to make a thermometer using Arduino with 7 segments display. So let's get started. The main components for this projects are Arduino Nano, LM35 temperature sensor and 3 digit 7 segments display. Now let's see the pin diagram of the display. It has 12 pins. If you keep it like this, then upper side has 6 pins and lower side has 6 pins. The first pin is cathode 1 for this digit. The second pin is A. The next is F. Cathode 2 for the middle one. And the next is cathode 3 for the last digit. And then segment B and this side E D and this pin is dot pin for these dots and then we have C G and this pin is no connection pin if you want to use three separate digit then you can use this just we have to connect all three digit in parallel now see the connection here we have three digit and these are the pins the middle one is cathode so this is first cathode this one is cathode 2 and this one cathode 3 and this pin is B and we have to connect all B all together and then we have to take it out common for all okay and this pin is A according to the pin diagram and again we have to connect them all and make it common and this pin is dot pin and we have to do the same for this also and like this this one is C okay so we have to do this for all this one is pin D this one pin E F and G so this is equivalent to this okay as you can see here cathode 1 cathode 2 and 3 in this and see here here also we have cathode 1, cathode 2 and 3 and raster A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now see the pin diagram of LM35. These are the three pins. The first pin, second pin and third pin. The first pin is plus VCC and the third one is ground and the middle pin is signal out or I can write it as output. Okay. Now see the whole circuit connection. Here is our Arduino board. And here the pin D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7, D8. With this pin we have to connect 330 ohm resistor to all of them. And then the first resistor which is connected to D2 is connected to segment A. D3 is connected to B. D4 is connected to segment C. D5 is connected to segment D. D6 is connected to segment E. D7 is connected to segment F and D8 is connected to segment G and pin D10, D11 and D12 are connected to cathode 1, cathode 2 and cathode 3 of the display. Now we have to connect 3 LEDs so we will use A3, A4 and A5 for 3 LEDs. The first LED that is blue LED is connected to A3 pin and with the cathode of the LED we have to connect one resistor and then this resistor is connected to ground with a4 pin we will connect green LED and here also we have to connect one resistor and then this resistor is connected to ground and both the resistor value is 220 ohms and with a5 pin we have to connect red LED and then one resistor is connected to it and then this resistor is connected to ground the value of the resistor is 330 ohms then we will use A2 pin for sensor output ok so sensor output pin is connected to A2 and then we have to connect one push to one switch this pin is connected to A1 pin and the other side of the switch is connected to plus VCC and one resistor is connected to A1 pin and this resistor is connected to ground the value of the resistor is 10 kilo ohms sorry it is plus VCC ok 
Now ground pin of the Arduino is connected to ground and 5 volt pin of the Arduino is connected to plus VCC. Here we will use VCC as plus 5 volt. Now let's see this on the breadboard. Put the Arduino board and this is LN35 and this one is and this is the display and this one is push to one switch here is blue LED here is green and red cathode pin of the blue LED is connected to ground through 220 ohm resistor also the green LED and with red LED we have to connect 330 ohms as you can see here this one is first pin this one second pin and the third pin the third pin is connected to ground and the first pin is connected to plus VCC now put all the seven resistors for the display connect 10 kilo ohm resistor between A1 and ground then A1 pin is connected to one pin of the switch other pin of the switch is connected to plus VCC 5 volt pin of the Arduino is connected to plus VCC output pin of the sensor is connected to A2 anode pin of the blue LED is connected to A3 pin anode pin of the green LED is connected to A4 and anode pin of the red LED is connected to A5 pin now see here here yeah, this resistor is for segment A this one for B this one for C D E F and G so D2 is connected to resistor A D3 is connected to resistor B D4 is connected to resistor C D5 is connected to resistor D D6 is connected to resistor E D7 is connected to resistor F and D8 is connected to resistor G Cathode 1 is connected to D10 Segment A is connected to resistor A Segment F is connected to resistor F Cathode 2 is connected to D11 Cathode 3 is connected to D12 and segment B is connected to resistor B and this side segment E is connected to resistor E segment D is connected to resistor D segment C is connected to resistor C and segment G is connected to resistor G and ground pin of the Arduino is connected to ground rail and this is how we have completed our connection now we have to upload the program now for this we need a library for the display it called 7 sec but we cannot find here so go to manage libraries then we have to download one library type 7 sec okay and then you have to download this one 7 seg okay so click here it is installed okay now close it now go to sketch include library and then here is our 7 seg okay so this library we need and here is our full program so after this, this 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 are A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So whatever the pin you have connected to the segment, we have to write it here. As I have connected segment A to the pin 2, so I have written here 2. Okay, B to the pin 3 and up to 8, I have connected A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And here the 3 means total number of digit okay and I have connected cathode 1 to the pin 10 2 to the pin 11 and cathode 3 to the pin 12 okay so this is why I have written here 10 11 and 12 push to one switch to a1 pin temperature sensor pin to a2 pin and these three LEDs a3 a4 and a5 and these are the variables for the calculation and these two for switch case okay because we need to change from celsius to fahrenheit fahrenheit to kelvin okay now you can see here these are the calculation for this uh, it changes the units 
and this is the switch case okay so so by default I have kept it at Celsius and if you press for first time then it will changes to Fahrenheit and then it will show in Kelvin okay so this is all about the program now upload it now it is uploading as you can see here the blue LED is glowing and here it is showing in Celsius now I'm turning off my lights so you can see it better it is something like 27 28 and if I press the switch see it is showing in Fahrenheit and it is something like 80 degrees and glowing green LED and here is red LED and it is showing it in Kelvin okay so this is how we can change our units and here is my soldering iron I'm keeping it like this and it and now increasing the temperature it is very high temperature for this sensor now if I change the scale 186 Fahrenheit 188 190 in each unit it changes okay let's see in Celsius so 110 degree okay leave it now after removing my soldering iron now it is decreasing the temperature so guys this is how you can make a thermometer using Arduino with 7 segments display and if you want to use external power supply then you can just remove it and apply to this external power supply with 5 volt ok here is our ground and this is our plus VCC so guys this is all for today I hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video I'll show you another topic Till then stay happy and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.